Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today I'm going to be using my Earl Grey cookie recipe in order to create these floral heart lace cookies. Now you can roll yours as thick or as thin as you would like. I like mine about a medium thickness. So I'm going to use my heart cookie cutter here to cut out a bunch of hearts. Now my specific recipe, you don't really need a whole lot of chilling with this, so I don't even need to place this back in the fridge or anything. I'm just going to bake them right away. I'm going to be using royal icing today to decorate all of my cookies and I'm using piping consistency for all of the lace details. Piping consistency is thick enough to hold a lot of detail and it won't flood back into itself. If you want to know the royal icing recipe that I use, it's down in the description box below. Now a pre-warning, it is quite a loose recipe and it just kind of gives you a base to start with. The reason being is because some people like to work with different consistencies. So water is going to change the way that your royal icing behaves. To create lace detailing, it's all about being symmetrical and about making sure that you're using kind of small little detailing. For example, I used a scallop edge and then I added some lines and some dots. Dots are a really great way to add that lace feel without having to do too much. I always admired lace cookies when I was first starting out because it seemed so impossible to make. But really all you need to do is master a few techniques. I highly recommend practicing on a piece of parchment paper and working on dots and curved lines and straight lines. And what's great about lace is it's not huge straight lines or huge curved lines. They're very, very small. And one of the big mistakes that I used to make when I first started cookie decorating is I wouldn't stop squeezing the piping bag. So that's one of the big, big things that I had to learn, especially when you're doing detailing like this, because it can just kind of look like I'm squeezing the bag the whole time. But in reality, I'm actually stopping and starting quite a bit. So make sure, for example, if you were doing this kind of, I don't know what to call this, a pointed bracket look, you want to make sure that you are actually stopping at the end of each bracket. I highly recommend that you look at some inspirational pictures of different lace patterns that you like. I personally like to work off of other cookies, so I don't just grab a lace pattern, but if you are the type that actually likes to look at the real life object, then go ahead and do that. To fill in this area, I'm using pipe and flood consistency. Now I must admit my pipe and flood consistency is a little looser than I would like it. So you'll notice that I end up with a little bit of air bubbling because if your icing is too loose, that can happen and it goes a bit translucent. I'm not too worried because I'm adding on all of this lace detail on top. You'll notice that my white is fully opaque now because I did dry these cookies fully before adding on this detail. If you wanna know how to dry your cookies quickly, go ahead and click that video in the right hand corner. Corner. In order to create the flowers, I am using this flower tip. Now I have to say after using quite a few of these that make different types of flowers, not all of them perform the same, even when you're using the same consistency and texture. It's also a little bit tricky to get your royal icing up to the texture that's needed in order to create the detailing in this flower. If it's too loose, then everything starts melding together. If it's too thick, then you can barely pipe it. So it is a little bit of a balance. I suggest adding a tablespoon of meringue powder at a time to your royal icing and making sure you give it a good whip before trying to use these. I generally like using metal tips as opposed to plastic tips, but these were the only ones that they had at Michael's. So I will link all of the things that I'm using down in the description box below and you can kind of see what type of things I'm using. If you want to get those kind of pinkish white flowers that I have, then all you have to do is fill up your piping bag haphazardly with a little bit of white and then a little bit of pink, but really use whatever color palette you desire. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of sprinkles to the center, but you could skip this part as well if you don't want to put any sprinkles on. So here are our lace cookies. I really wanted to create something with flowers and lace, and I think this is a really easy way to do it because it's not like I had to sit there piping each individual flower, though that also would look very beautiful. Now I should use that word easy lightly because it's easy once you get the hang of it, but when you're first starting out, sometimes it can happen where the flowers just kind of mush into one another. If that happens to you, that just means that you need to work on your royal icing consistency and the way that you actually pipe it as well. When you pipe it, all you wanna do is give it a good squeeze, then stop squeezing and lift straight up and down, no angle to it whatsoever. 
Now let's get into the pricing of these cookies. Now these cookies are pretty fancy and detailed, so I don't think I would offer them as a stock order cookie, but I would definitely offer them as a custom order at $5 each per cookie with a 24 cookie minimum. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys.